good YouTube? It's your boy Jarrell here holding it down for Jarrell Fitness and you already know it's time to grow bro. What's good? Shout out to the T2G Nation. I see y'all watching man. For anybody that's new to this channel, T2G stands for time to grow. So just if you're curious, you know, it ain't no game banging shit. It's just a, it's a, a fitness game. I don't know. Anyway guys, so check it out. I know you guys pretty much came to this video because you wanted to see what happened with that 300 pound squat attempt. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and get you guys in here because I know everybody was probably going to be curious about whether I was able to do that or not. So I'm not going to tell you until you're going to have to watch the whole video to find out what happened. So anyway guys, first and foremost, let me go ahead and wrap things up and kind of talk about week number five of the six week Candido strength program. So um, week number five, I think the last video I put out, I showed you guys me doing, um, oh yeah, I think it was the squat workout. Yeah, that's when I was able to squat 270 pounds for one to four reps. I was able to get four reps. And then after that, maybe like two days later, it was November 20th on a Friday, I went ahead and did the last, the last workout of week number five. So I had to do 265 pounds on the bench press for one to four reps. So let me go ahead and talk about this a little bit because I was a little disappointed with the amount of reps that I was able to get with that. Now, as you guys probably know or you don't know, the one rep max that I started this program out with for my bench press was 270 pounds. To be honest with you guys, I believe that my max at that point of time six weeks ago was a lot lower than 170 pounds, you know, but it was pretty much based on like a, a calculation on like an app that I downloaded. But those calculation apps are really not too accurate. You actually, the only way to really find out what your true one rep max is, is to attempt to do that amount of weight for one rep. So, you know, I wasn't in a position to do that. So I just went ahead and just wanted to get started with the program. So I pretty much just estimated the shit. So it told me, 270 so I said fuck it I'm gonna go with 270 you know actually it gave me a higher number than that and I had to reduce the shit you know so that the weight was for me to able to, so I was able to do week number one because I had a lot of problems and I had to start the program over you know so anyway long story short um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some footage on the screen right now so one of the things I did first I started to warm up I used like lighter weight um, I'll probably go ahead and put the weight up on the screen as you guys are watching the footage right now but um, to be honest with you guys, you know, I've been having this problem a lot during this program is warming up properly, especially um, going into like the, the later weeks of the program. You know, a lot of the volume gets cut down, it's more higher intensity, so, you know, you're not able to really warm up to the weight like you really want to and get acclimated to the heavier weight, so it can kind of throw you off a little bit, so you kind of have to find like a nice little routine that you kind of do to kind of get yourself into the weight. But with this, with this day, when I was doing the bench pressing for week number five, I really did not. I kind of jumped the gun like I always do sometimes, and I really did not warm up properly, okay? So let me go ahead and show you guys the working set that I had to do. I only had to do one working set of 265 pounds, so I had to do one to four reps like I told you guys. So unfortunately, I was only able to get two fucking reps. Now, it's not a complete failure because... At the end of the day, I really truly believe that my one rep max was not 270 when I started this program. It was lower. It, it, it probably was around 260 or 255 or something like that. So, you know, so it was all like an estimation. So I really did make progress, but at the end of the day, I did not really warm up and I felt like I could have did a lot better. Okay, so I went out of that day feeling a little down, a little bit, you know, down on myself, but I kind of kept kept my optimism and I said, you know what? Next week, going into week number six, I'm going to go ahead and try to find a way so I could properly warm up before I actually try to test out my one rep max. If you guys don't know by now, week six is pretty much a throw up week where you can just pretty much do like three different options. So the option that I chose to do was go ahead and find out my one rep maxes on week number six for my squats and my bench press. As you guys probably already know, I'm not doing deadlifts due to injuries that I have to my back. So. You know, it is what it is. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this week to find out my maxes. And then next week, I'll take a deload, load And then most likely, I'll go ahead and repeat the program again. Or I may just take like a few weeks just to kind of just do like my own little thing and keep kind of building upon my strength that I've gained from the program. 
and then I'll probably jump back on the program to keep making some fucking gains. So I'm gonna go ahead and put out like a review video coming up soon, maybe in about a week or so or two weeks, and I'm gonna pretty much detail to you guys how I feel about the program overall, and um, that'll pretty much be it. So anyway, let's go ahead and go into today's workout that I just did. So today, um, for week six, I went ahead and tested out my back squat. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the footage right now. So what you're looking on, looking at on the screen right now is me pretty much using a routine that I that I found on Omar Isaf's um, channel. So if you guys don't know his channel, go in the description box below and I'll have a link to the video that I used. So pretty much in this video, he pretty much shared with all of his um, subscribers a, a cool way to warm up for a one rep max. So I pretty much use all of the calculations and the percentages that he used for this video and I and I put that into my own into my own weight that I use so that's pretty much what I did I did everything exactly the way that he um, told you to do it and I'm telling you guys man I made some great progress so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the squat attempts that I made um, leading up to the 300 pound squat attempt so if you guys don't know, my max squat when I started this program six weeks ago was 275 pounds for one rep. So go ahead and watch the footage and I'm gonna come right back here and talk to you guys about that. All right, check it out. Take the most of me, can't wait to make it out though this is destiny Feel like something's protecting me, still one of the best to be Added on to the recipe, I'm humble, don't scheme We ain't the ones to blow steam, pressure for legacy So bottom line is, always pitching me in the rafters Dodging the evil traps, hoping the grip don't snatch us Cities I've come to manage, need my name carved everywhere Coolest engine on the planet, making it rain underhanded Here's the darker side, put here to get larger, has my heart device Crack the concrete, parks and cries, spark your eyes, park your eyes Your story's all been lies, foreign rise, grip on my side Don't like how they judge it, important lives I am arguably the flow that father three in charge of the legion The MC heart is called to be legends, don't fall asleep Born with a brick on me, haunted by history, promised efficiency My click should be, lift up all this heat, burns in a six degree Ain't nothing left to do but win Okay, y'all, so y'all pretty much saw, you know, everything leading up to my 300-pound squat attempt. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the grand finale. So, this is me attempting to squat 300 fucking pounds, okay? I'm trying to be a part of the 300-pound club, baby. So, go ahead and check it out. So, let's get it going, man. Ridiculous imagination. Don't hold your breath, these money steps make me 6'8 When I awake, it's record breaking, talk is hurt Land sliding and peasants shaking, feathers waving on my top 10 picks I pull a greatest out the pot, blend 6, system reloaded Your behavior says a lot, been flipped just to be noticed Sun delivers like the first time, shout out the side that raised me Winning cigars, the compliment stars, but out the maybes Panic raising normally, two wrongs would be just fitting Mangle a majority, new swans would be Yes, got that fucking shit man like I said, man, it's been a long time overdue, man. I really feel good to be a part of the 300 Club. Um, I went parallel, went all the way down, none of that bullshit. I went all the way down parallel and came back the fuck up. So I'm feeling real fucking good. Um, if you look at it, shit, I just added fucking 25 pounds to my squat with this program in six fucking weeks, man. That's a hell of a fucking accomplishment, man, for me. You know, I came from hashtag team no fucking legs, man. So, <laughs> so I feel real good right now to be able to squat 300 and fucking pounds. 300 fucking pounds, I'm sorry. But like I said, I felt like I could have went heavier. I was gonna keep going, but I was so excited to just hit that milestone of 300 fucking pounds. I just, I, I was just done for the day. That was pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? So you guys already know my ultimate goal is to hit 315 pounds um, on the squats and I want to be able to do that shit multiple times so I'm right around the fucking corner man 300 pounds part of the 300 club for my for my for my fucking squat um, in a few days I'm gonna go ahead and, and test my bench press and um, man I'm gonna keep this thing rolling guys so I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the support everybody that pretty much told me to just keep the fucking negativity out of my head stay focused 
Um, don't doubt myself. I wanted to send a shout out to all y'all out there, man, that just continually push me and motivate me and just um, just represent for the T2G Nation, man. Just all of y'all, man. I want to thank every, every fucking body, man. All of you guys motivate me and push me, and I just want to thank y'all for y'all's support, man. I, I really can't. I really can't express how I feel, how, how great you guys make me feel to just keep pushing with this shit, man. So that's what it is. So anyway, man, thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, man, for that 300-pound squat. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Um, if you're new to Jarrell Fitness, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe to your boy, Jarrell here, Jarrell Fitness. And like I said at the beginning, y'all already know it's time to grow, bro. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces.